Yo, what up? My name is Shah Rule. I'm a rapper, singer, producer, audio engineer. We're sitting in my house right now doing a tour with Main Street TV. Shout out my boy Vedu one time. Let's go. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing, man? I'm so happy to find you. Good, bro. This. We've been chasing this for a minute. Yeah, we have. I don't know if you remember the first time we met. It was Ooh. in the elevator. Ooh, uh, really? And you were dressed like a rapper. And I was like, oh, what's up? I, I, I do be rapping. I do be pre, rapping. Like, this is pre Gully Boy. It's pre all of that. Was this in at Soul House? Yes. Oh, shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how far back this goes. Hmm. Uh, but I believe you started rapping at the age of 13. Yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, have you always had this sort of swagger <laughs> alongside? It comes with being a Cindy, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it comes with being a Cindy. I was born in Hong Kong, so there's extra swag that comes from Hong Kong Cindy's. And I live in Bandra as well, so there's an extra, extra swag from Bandra. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man. And you're, I'm a rapper as well, so you gotta, you gotta have some, some sort of swag as a rapper. Was it always like this? Did you have... You know, where did it start? I'm very curious. When you were younger, what did it start with? What, what piqued your interest? I think in school, like, you know, like going to school and just like... In Hong Kong? No, in, in Moscow, in Moscow. When did you move to Moscow? I, w I moved to Moscow uh, in 2002, so I was, I was around nine years old. I was in an American school, so you're in an American international school, you have all nationalities. It's just a lot of people with different, you know, styles and stuff. So I think because I was so into hip hop, and also I've been into like different types of music. It's just whatever you're into kind of reflects your, you know, your your style back then. So I used to, you know, uh, buy those fake chains with spinners and all those. I mean, th that was the era of 50 Cent and Eminem and shit. So I think it was just like, you know, you're a kid, you want to like, you know, uh, emulate what you see on MTV and shit. So I think it was it was a bit of that. And as you get older, you know, I was, you know, I became, you know, I was becoming more focused as an artist so you start thinking okay what defines me as an artist you know at at some point i was like okay i have this indian heritage how do i bring that together when i was in london doing my thing over there so i used to like go to army surplus stores get like army jackets and take like um different indian patchwork designs like the peacock and everything and get those sewn on so it would just look different you know what i mean in in london you see a brown guy wearing army stuff but with the, all this bling and sindhi gold and shit so it was just something a little different you know like putting a, together a little bit of different vibes like, what is your inspiration music like? yo i think as a musician you're always like constantly looking at yourself as what have i put out so far what have people love me for where do i want to kind of take myself like I think it's it's a bit of everything, but also as a musician, you're you're channeling whatever you're feeling. So, you know, my last album was like kind of a breakup album, but in therapy, this new album has like a naughtier side of that same version because it was it's very recent. But um, there's new different nuances to it, different sounds, and you know, there's always a lot of experimentation. Tell me about where the cab game came from. I think obviously like just being a hip hop head, obviously like there's a lot to do with, with hip hop fashion. But I think I always just started collecting as, as a kid. And uh, whenever I've, you know, done trips to the US or, you know, in, in the U when I was in the UK, it was always just finding teams I like. And, um, yeah. you know, uh, like Arsenal, which is like, you know, a huge huge part of you know like uh, my year you know watching watching Arsenal but I think even like I can I can find now when I go through my collection I can always find different moments through these caps you know what I mean and now I don't wear so much but I think like little moments like um, when NBA came to India for the first time they did a they did like a, a friendly game I think it was um, the San Antonio Spurs and and uh, one other team and yeah, uh, I went to the game. you went to the game and I and I performed at the halftime show. Ah, so no, yeah, no. you remember me? I don't, I don't you remember? Okay, what song did I perform? I yeah, yeah, you're not a, you're that? not a fan, motherfucker. <laughs> so, this was made by Urban Monkey. Like shout Sick. out to Urban Monkey. I think like one of the first few like streetwear brands like to really like do Opening, that thing yeah. in yeah. But I they made like a custom Gully Boy collection for the movie and I think even MC Altaf throws it at uh, Ranveer Singh and he and he catches it. And you also started doing your own caps. Yes. 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 Some of that Charul stuff. Yeah. So, Rude, yeah, yeah. So, I if I had to sell a cap, it would be something that just like, 
it's the same way I would want to buy something like, you know, uh, this might not mean anything to someone, That's cool. but rule is something that also like, you know, it's just like motivational. Cool. It kind of takes away from the British rule. It's more yeah. just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, and it's, yeah, it's, it's this, this one is the um, India cricket team edition nice. being part of Gully Gang you know they, they also did a, a line with Urban Monkey and yeah. a, you know a few other brands and yeah I think when I was in London I don't know what the fuck was going on with me yeah, maybe it was like the fucking weird I don't know yeah. man I was I used to wear a lot of leather in London and just try and stand yeah, out you know London the fucking rain and yeah. all that shit makes you really angry so yeah yeah man shoes you got a lot of shoes yeah yeah. You, would you consider yourself a sneakerhead? I, I don't know if I would consider myself a sneakerhead. I think I, I like to go for a little bit weirder. I think I would consider you a sneakerhead. Yeah? Okay, yeah, I don't know. You got too many shoes. I don't think a lot of my shit is, none of my shit is hype. I, I, I mean, would you consider forms hype or what? Yeah. I think I really like, I, not, I love forms. Like, design I'm, I'm not even lying. Like, I'll wear this like at least I six six days out of the week. I'm wearing that. And like, it's the most fucking comfortable shoe till date. I hate wearing Jordan 1s. That f I bought these at Main Street, by the way. They're uncomfortable. But this is like, great shoes. Bro. They're great I shoes. Wear every day. Don't be listening to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still available I think, I think. Shop now. And you have your Cindy blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the heritage, the, the heritage. heritage. The yeah. heritage. I think, I think for me, like I never used to actually buy Jordans and stuff as a kid. So it was always, I was in a, I was in a boarding school with a lot of Arabs and Russians. So yeah. it was, it was. This is where you, you tend to, you know, gravitate towards. So yeah. Obviously, just uh, make the money come out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's a guy. He'll make it happen. I don't think it will it fit. Yeah. yeah. No, I got another one, boys. Sorted. Almost engineer right here. Are you collecting vinyl records? I I stopped. Uh, I mean, when I was in London, I used to go uh, crate digging is the the right term, and it was like you'd you'd get like these single like you wouldn't get like full album but you would get these like oh, they'd just be sitting outside the shop for yeah. like one pound each like oh, you know wow. those type of vibes. So can we, can we play that? Yeah, yeah, we can. We can. you want to play Jesus Walks or yes. Are you are you a follower of Jesus? Uh, Kanye. If you just see that there's so much like wear and tear on this, yeah. So what happened? Because this is pre-loved, you know, yeah. in the thrift if, world. You know, what I'm saying pre-loved. Yeah. And um, what happens is normally. When when a lot of DJs who play all records, like all vinyl, it'll skip in the club and you can't do shit about it. You can't yeah. like go back and fucking and it it just it is what it is, you know what I mean? So it's beautiful. Yeah. Man. It's real. Yeah, it's real. Authentic. It's authentic. So you're not collecting vinyl anymore. I I mean I have a collection in there, but I mean I've I I think now that I've set this up, like I only set this up in the last like one month, so I think I'm gonna nice. collecting my favorite, favorite albums. Records, yeah. I think um definitely all the Kanye ones, there's like different Touch singles, the Touch the Sky. Even just like some old school Lionel Richie, like you know, Sick. like when you have a girl over and shit, and you just wanna like throw, take it back one time and you know, make it about her and you know, all that. And uh, random uh, pop You're records. Like trying to seduce me, man. No, 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 not you, bro, not you. And uh, random like Sinatra, like oh, you know, nice. little Sinatra. And yo, I think Bill Withers, one of the goats. Rest, yeah. in, rest in peace to Bill Withers. Love that. Yeah. And then you got some sunglasses here. Is it heavy on the heavy on the heavy I on the wear. shades. Throwing shade, um, I think I was I was buying a lot of cheap stuff. Like uh, I mean, that wasn't cheap, but I, I think uh, I was buying a lot of like cheap random shit off like Amazon or whatever just for shoots. But I think I recently started collecting more expensive. Bro, you you look like prime Cindy, bro. Prime like, bro, Vedu Lambani, man. Short. <laughs> they call him Vedu Lambani, bro. <laughs> Come on. I recently started collecting like de more designer shades. I think. Nice. I think uh, I will stop soon. Just like I stopped with the Jordans, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna stop soon. Yeah, save more money. You know what I'm saying? Very yeah. cool, man. I love yeah. to check out your uh, studio setup. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's... Dude, this is such a cool collection of. I didn't really fucking paint and shit, man. That's yeah, so man. dope. Thank you. Who's the guy in the center, though? I don't know, man. <laughs> I think I think it's another. Pre-lockdown Sharu. Is that Diddy next to you? Uh, no, 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 no. That's Nas, Nas. Um, no, no Diddy. No, no Diddy. Diddy. No Diddy. No you Diddy. Know, Diddy. No Diddy. Diddy. No Diddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
M, yo. I, I feel like, Slim. yeah, I think th- this is this record, the Eminem show, is the reason why I know so many swear words. And I think a lot of our generation were taught how to say f- and and all these nice words that you know help you express yourself. Like it helps you cut down on a lot of words, you know. Of so I think. Me and my sister, when we would be, you know, back and forth from school uh, in the Russian Moscow traffic, we'd just be hearing this album and like just the the rebellious nature of it and small spaghetti. spaghetti. I mean, that's a different album, bro. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I don't know, I'm saying. I mean, like, you're trying to write like how? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm literally. This was one of the first albums I ever I ever listened to. So like this and like a lot of Fifty Cent, like uh, Get Rich or Die Trying. Yeah, man. And then you got super cool, like you produce here. I do. Uh, I, you do all of your engineering yourself. I do production. everything here. All of my albums have been. You do all the production on the songs also yourself. A lot of the production I I outsource, so I work with a lot of very talented producers, guys like Stana Beats, uh, Karan Kanchan, uh, Explicit, like so many Zero Chill, a lot of people and that you, type of role. Uh, record here. Yeah. I record all my music here. I mix and master. I'm an audio engineer by trade, so somehow I'm an engineer. You know what I mean? Like I'm the not. the loser engineer, <laughs> like the the artsy engineer and i think um yeah i love i i fell in love with vocals and making shit sound good and you know just the the nerdiness of it all you know like there's there's a lot of technical stuff there yeah, uh, man super cool man thank you for but thank you for letting us in your space man it was so nice to go this, this is where the really magic happens you can pan the way. pan the camera to the bed <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, appreciate it. big up we battling bro i am ba- we are battling Okay. 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 Well, okay. I'm sorry in advance. Okay. 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 Vedu Lamba, always wearing your look like samba. Ain't got no hoes. You ain't no more bamba. Think you got the juice, but you ain't got that jamba. Came from Pune. Think you're gonna run Bombay. Think you're gonna take this pan, cook up some flambe. Thinking all the girls gonna come through, but really they want me. I know he be at the gym. He get that shit lifted. You know we Kanye fans. We don't do that Taylor Swift shit. And uh, but, I will yeah. accept defeat. <laughs> try myself to sleep. Ooh! Uh, no, I was not trying. <laughs> I meant it. 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 Uh, and um, no, I'm blanking. I think um, we should have cut this battle sooner. Vedu Lamba, go back to Pune. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Kill it, bro. Kill it, kill it, kill it. That was yeah. great.